Hello, my friends. Happy Wednesday. What's going on today? Hi, Susie. Oh, let me know if you can hear me. Hi, Pam. Good morning, Allie. <clears throat> Hi, Kelly. Hi, natural girl. Good morning, Ellen. How are you guys? Isabel, that's my daughter's name, Isabel. Maggie, Susie, born on Friday. Very nice. Fridays are the best, right? Hi, Danica, how are you? Good morning, Mary, Susan. What's new with everyone? Freak snowstorm. Oh, no, Gail. <laughs> I don't like that. Hi, Laura. <clears throat> yeah, we're finally having nice spring weather. I think it's not well, I think the sun's out right now. Hopefully, we'll have an okay day. <clears throat> Hi, Morgan. Oh, it's good to see everybody. Very good. <clears throat> so, I think I, I'm going to paint. I fell and hurt my finger the other day. <clears throat> so, I'm having to type and do everything without this finger. It's just the craziest feeling. You don't realize how much you use the finger on your other hand, but certainly does come in handy, but I don't need it for painting, which is really good. So I'm going to do flowers. I think I've decided, and I'm not sure what this plant is. Now wait, let me turn this around. I'm gonna paint that, I think. <clears throat> I think. Now what is that? Is that from a cherry tree? And I honestly, I think I took that photo the other day when I was walking. Hi, after a long time. Hello. So I'm having a, a very kind of peaceful week. After my lunch week of my course last week, it was just crazy, crazy, crazy. It's crazy how much energy that takes. I apologize for the endless emails. It all worked. It was an apple blossom. That's exactly what it is, Jane. Thank you. I think apple or maybe cherry. So I could do that, or I have that ready too. That's magnolia. Are those the two I got ready? Or that, what do you think? Tulips from my friend Lori. The cherry or apple blossom. Or the magnolia. So many fun choices. I also thought of doing the pencil. I can't remember if I did the pencil with you guys or not. I've painted out my little stub of a pencil like five times and they all sold, which is really fun. I think I want to do a larger one. Hello to Brazil. Hi, Kim. Hi, Michelle. Apple Blossom. Your vote's Apple Blossom. We'll see a couple of votes here. I'm glad all is good. A loose leaf life. That's so fun. I love fun, creative names like that. Hi, Bonnie. Gorgeous pencil photo is great. Oh, I know. Isn't that fun, Allie? I love that. He offered to do it. He did three three different illustrations. This guy's name is Steve Martin. Um, you could look him up on Instagram, and he takes artists and put them in their work. So I posted mine in, in my store yesterday. He did one of me painting a pencil. So it's a photo of me, and the pencil's huge, and he silhouetted me in, in Photoshop. And then he did one of me in blueberries and one of me with a bird. The pink one. Ellen says, love that pink one. Should I do that one? I guess I could just do one a week, right? For three weeks, then I won't have to think about it. Now, who knows? It's all what inspires me. Like, I'm excited that I have time. Now I can get lots and lots of options. You know, when I'm out for my walk, I can find fun things to paint. And that's the best. In the wintertime, when I run out of stuff, it's when it gets a little dicey because... I feel like I paint the same things over and over again, which isn't a bad thing. I keep telling myself that I'm always thinking that I need to come up with brand new things every time I paint, but really it's great practice to, um, it's great practice not to, it's great practice to, to uh, here, I have to think about what I'm saying instead of thinking about what I'm painting. It's great practice to paint the same thing over and over again. So you become super um, familiar with it. So this, um, particular. Good morning, Emily. Love to see his painting of you and the pencil. Rosemary, it's in my story. Do you know how to get to my story here on Instagram? It's really fun. Um, so this 
my friend Glenn, who filmed Art in Bloom for me, he sent me this picture just yesterday because he knew, knows I love, love his magnolia tree. He said he's not a good photographer, but that is not true. I think it's a great photo. I need my own magnolia tree. Don't tell my husband. He would not want that. I'm lucky I just planted my first peony this year, last year. Can't, oh, right. Yeah, not well, not while I'm live. It'll be up. Um, I think I posted it last night, so it'll probably be up in my story all day. That's a very light one. Well, maybe I'll just make the whole thing and wipe out some stuff here. It's a really pretty bud at the top, but I had to cut it out. It didn't fit in the frame. So what's new with everybody? Oh, the artist's name is Steve Martin. And I think that's just his name in here, Steve. If you look him up, you'll probably find him. He knows it's beautiful. Why not get one? Because <laughs> they're, well, they're, my husband says they're messy. They are messy. <clears throat> he doesn't like things that are messy. <laughs> Why you married me, I have no idea. I'm messy. Very, very messy. Right, Emily? So I just finally mounted one of these paintings that I did on the um, Arches oil paper onto a panel to play around with um, having it be a mounted painting, kind of like my when I do them on the board with the gold edges. It, it uh, took a long time for me to get to the point that I have it on the panel. Now I have to trim it out and see how it all works. But um, it took me a long time to get to that point because I had to have a painting dry enough to do it. Opposite, yes, that's right. Opposites do attract. Oh, Glenn has a red barn. I see it in the background. I see the red barn back there. I don't think much of that's going to show through in the end. But. Have any of you guys that are on here been to Mulberry Farm? That's where I filmed Art and Bloom, and it's also, I had, had I think, two workshops there. It's really fun. You know, we were talking about that the other day, whether it's time to try and plan another workshop. Oh, I am doing the one in Connecticut, and it's like the third week in um, the third week in October, and I'm super excited about it. It's a beautiful like like bed and breakfast, and it's four days, and. Um, it's going to be really fun. I'm going to paint. I'm calling it fall, painting fall in, um, in New England. So that is open. You can get to it through like the learning thing on my website. If it's something you want to learn more about. <clears throat> I'm very excited. So that'll be my first workshop, I think, since COVID. I'm excited to do that. As I miss workshops, I miss painting with people and I miss that social part of it. Still a lot of glare on there. Let me see what there that helped, right? <clears throat> it's pays for me to stop and see what you're seeing. Hmm. Very fun. Um So what's new? What's everybody up to? I think I'm going to try and paint this whole thing with the big brush. I'm already liking those great big strokes. Kind of leave it a little choppy. It's summertime. 
is it summertime? Um, well, Henriette, not summertime, but it's definitely spring. It's still, it's probably like in the 50s here now. So not summertime like I like it when it's hazy, hot, and humid. <clears throat> but I know it's, it's hopeful because I know it's coming. I love warm weather. I love to be warm. All right, let me... Frost tonight, Ellen. No, no frost. Well, if you're having frost, I'm definitely having frost tonight. It had snow in Ontario last night. Yeah, it's that... What's that called? That we... When this, uh, this time of year when we can get a snowstorm randomly. I can't think what it's called. It's like Indian summer for spring. <laughs> Was it onion snow or something? Plenty of painting. Oh my gosh, Susan, that sounds like heaven. Is that a, a Hawaiian island that we're going? Plenty of painting. We wish we could all go with you today. I want all, all 52 of us to come along. A dogwood winter. Oh, I like that, Lonnie Bruce. My dogwood's dead. I need to get a new one. I have one in my front yard, but I think it's pretty much all gone now. I'm just wiping off a little bit of kawaii. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I'd even like to go plein air painting right here today, but that's not likely to happen. <laughs> I think I should invest in one of those plein air easels just so if I get the opportunity to plein air paint, I'm good to go. I have nothing stopping me. My friend Holly invited me to go do that with her. I think that looks like a fun beginning, right? I could do, I'm gonna close up my medium and <clears throat> put some pigment stick in there. I need a sip of my coffee first. Bonnie says, got my Peloton last week. And, oh, how two art classes, one mixed media, one pastel. I have so many unfinished watercolor paintings. Well, that's fun. You can finish them. Oh, I'm just using Bonnie. I'm, whoops. I'm just using a, a paper towel. It's a Viva paper towel. Mm. A base color. Well, a lot of it's that's permanent rose and sap green, mostly. And some other stuff in there. That sounds like fun. Yes, I have a lot of things. I have like, I don't know, uh, probably 15 commissions I need to work on. It's all fun stuff. I just did uh, one, did a commission this past weekend for a friend. And all good. App says 57 in Lancaster, 61 here, 30 and snowing. When your son in New York, oh my gosh, Ellen. Oh, that's crazy, right? Does he like snow? Is his restaurant open again? I never did ask you about that. I like to add in some unexpected color to play around with when I'm doing this. So that's what's happening here. Are those oil pastels? Bonnie, oh, they're, they're called RNF pigment sticks. They're kind of like oil pastels but they're oilier. I would say they're more like regular, um, I don't even have them here. The regular like uh, oil pastels are like harder. These are, are creamy. So they're called RNF pigment sticks. I love them. It just kind of helps me stay loose. Forces me not to take anything too seriously that I put down in this crazy beginning layer. 37, oh my gosh, Lonnie, that's crazy. 37 in Nashville and 57 here. Yeah, that's very unusual. Hmm. So at the farm that I walked by, did you hear we got a, there's a new little baby goat. It's very fun. Hops, it hops up in the air so high, it's fun to watch. fun favorite color that doesn't really belong in here anywhere but why not 
just started playing around with a new <clears throat> acrylic too because I want to uh, I want a bright red and a bright yellow or red. Oh my God, I can't even think here. <coughs> Laurel Lee says, good morning. <clears throat> I took almost the exact same photo on my walk with intention to paint it too. Oh, good. Wonderful. You'll have to share it. I think that's a good start. Oh, the baby goat chain. Yes, I probably can do that once I get some good pictures of it. The mama doesn't let it come too close. Although I did get to see it close the other two days ago, but it it um, it's still shy. I guess because it's so tiny, and it doesn't know that I come bearing animal cookies. Once it knows that, I'm sure that we will be fast friends. <clears throat> My husband just got more at the store yesterday. <laughs> yeah, the baby goat is fun. Hi, Sarah. Mama Prescott is who walks with me. <clears throat> All right, so now I'm going to mix colors. So I'm going to mine. I apologize for the creepy sound. Oh, and this now. Gosh, I need a better lighting system. Oops. I want to knock it over. Maybe I'll turn it this way. That's not helping either, is it? That's a little better. Eh, you would laugh if you saw me doing this. Oh, <clears throat> they are called RNF pigment sticks. So let me see if I can find a fresher one you can see. Oh, here's one that you can see. So they're actually oil sticks, it's oil paint in stick form. And you can actually, like, cut, cut, like, let me show you. I never really tried doing this, but why not today? Let me see if I can find my X-Acto knife. I need to buy new X-Acto blades. No, I don't know where it is. I should just get a new knife and new blades. If there's something that I use often, like an X-Acto knife, well, I'll just use a palette knife. <clears throat> I usually need, like, to have six of them because I lose everything. So you can actually take off, cut off a piece. It gets crusty on the outside. And then I can slice some off of here. And use a little bit of medium, like, um, let me see. I have a little bit of walnut oil. I'll just put a little bit of walnut oil here. Just a drop. Pastels. Well, Bonnie, you can't do pastels with oil paint because it would get weird. It would get, um, I don't know. It wouldn't work. Because you kind of have to use oil paint just with oil paint. Got those crunchies in there from the edges. So you can make this into paint, too. So I could mix a color into that. Although I do have some of that. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah, Mary, let me see. It's called warm pink. I'll take some of that and add some permanent rose into it. A little bit more. I don't like this palette knife. Let me, <laughs> let me get rid of this. <clears throat> it is a fun color, isn't it? It's not really in the painting but or in the photo, but... That doesn't mean we can't add it. <clears throat> That's much better. It's funny. You have to have the right tools. If I use other tools that I'm not used to, I'm like, it just doesn't work right. Like yesterday, I used a paintbrush that Windsor Newton sent me to try out. And I found it very hard to use a different paintbrush, although it's a good way to learn. It's a good way to learn what you do and don't like. And it's also a good way to learn <clears throat> what you can do with different tools that you I've never played with, which is a good thing. I wanted my pink color. Um, nice. Well, this isn't what I want. I might as well spend the time to actually find what I'm looking for. <clears throat> Can it be used with acrylic? You could do acrylic underneath, but you can't mix it together. Acrylics and oils really aren't fun, aren't friends. Um, acrylics are pla like plastic. 
excuse me, like plastic and oils are oily. So you can do an acrylic painting and put oil on top. But if you do, I can't find the pink, I'll use this. If you do it the opposite, if you did oils underneath and did acrylic on top, the acrylic would seal over the oils and then the oils wouldn't dry. Good morning, Gachi, how are you? I would definitely use some of that in there. That was a fun experiment, but yeah, that, that made a fun color. A little white. What happens if you use them with... Oh, I answered that right. I mean, you certainly can play with it and see what happens, but I wouldn't do acrylic over top. But you could do a whole acrylic painting underneath and put oils on top. Acrylics and oils feel very, very different. But it is very fun to experiment with both. <clears throat> How about oil pussy? Yeah, you could put them on top. <clears throat> now I need more. Take this and add a little bit of magenta in there. in color. Pinks are so fun, aren't they? Yeah, that's definitely in there. Let's get a little bit more of that pink. You can sand the acrylic down and then oil comes to the top. Really? You put acrylic over top and then sand it and let the oil come out that way. Hmm. Well, that certainly sounds like fun. I'll have to try it sometime. I never knew that. That Nicholas Welton, he is very inventive. I love that. Did you do his group? I thought that sounded like a lot of fun. His membership. Maybe I'll do that sometime. I love to experiment like that. I love to play with new things and new methods and... That's one of the fun things about art and art supplies. It's endless amount of things to learn and play with. <clears throat> and I never thought about, I thought about sanding oil paints, but not putting acrylic over top and sanding that. <clears throat> oh, you didn't. I'm sure there'll all be other opportunities to do it. I'm doing the, this. Um, is permanent rose that I love. I'm gonna, I'm gonna warm it with this pink or white. What are you saying? Do I paint with acrylics? No, this is oil paint. I don't know how to say that in French. <clears throat> it's oil paint, not acrylic. Look what you're asking me. All my years of French, and I don't know that much French. I took French from seventh grade until my second year of college. I made it to French Lit and called it quits because I would have had trouble with English Lit, let alone French Lit. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I love permanent rooms. Me too, Cheryl. I certainly think I have enough pinks. Going crazy with the pinks. Um, I have no whites out. Use them all up. Oh, Ellen, it's I don't have a lizard crimson out here. It's um per permanent rose and magenta are my two faves. I do like a lizard crimson, but I don't use it very often. I need to move my coffee out of the way and mix a few greens. Um, you know what? And I'm not thinking about inside of this painting. I mean, photo. Whoops. I'm going to knock my coffee over. In here, that's um, a much cooler, cooler color. I would say that has like blue in it. So I'm going to mix some blue into my pink here and see what it looks like. 
that. And you know what? Maybe I'll get, um, I want to use some um, King's Blue and see how that looks. Mixed with that to make it cooler. I guess that's what that will do is cool it. as a like shadow color. Look at all these crazy pinks. Let's go. I don't know. What brand of oil paint would you recommend that some... Oh, I would... Bonnie, I would say Winsor Newton or, um, or Gamblin. Either of these brands, you can get them at like Michael's. They're relatively inexpensive, especially if you go to Michael's when they have their sale. You know, you can go there and get things at percent off or whatever <clears throat> when they have coupons and things. But they're really good quality and not super expensive. And I love them. Even, you know, I have expensive paints. Oh, making a mess over here. And inexpensive paints. And I love, I still love them. Some of them are my very favorite go-to colors. Oops. Cinnabar green's a new color that I got. I had it before and used it all up and forgot about it. I just bought a new one. It's um, this color. It's really pretty. Yellow in there it needs to be a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. It's like icing, like cake icing. <clears throat> Windsor Newton artist grade, not Win. Uh, Winton, yeah, Winton is the student grade, I guess. I do like. Windsor Newton, the artist great. Yes, thanks for pointing that out. Although, I guess Winton's fine too. I just am not real familiar with it. I don't even know that I have any. Oh, that light green Susie, I just showed you that. Okay, I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to use my big brush and try to make very decisive brush strokes. Let me get this so that it's <clears throat> crazy light back there. Turn that this way. I'm gonna knock it over. <laughs> I need to move where it is. I had it because I keep thinking I'm gonna work on something big behind me here. And I just haven't had the chance. Okay. Okay, did I answer everybody's questions? So, okay, now I like to go in with my dark areas. Um, works well with thick knife pinks. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, I don't, I probably do have some Winton here somewhere in my big bin of colors that I've collected over the years. And I do go in there and use things out of that sometimes. It's good to have a nice library of, of art supplies. Can you, you guys, Ellen, can you hear my music? It's funny. It's like I can't paint without music on it. It gets so, I think I'm so used to having noise in my life all the time. A large hummingbird? No. I. You know what? I don't know that I've ever painted a hummingbird. What did I do the other day? That wasn't a hummingbird, was it? I can't remember what that was. I just, maybe it was a hummingbird. I never painted, I don't even think, Ellen, that I've ever painted a large bird. I usually do florals, but I definitely, 
need to do some large ones because I need a couple big ones for um, my show in August, August, which will be here in no time. And um, if I get to do any outdoor shows, I don't think I only have like maybe two or three large paintings here. Oh, was it humming? Yeah, no. A hummer. It was a hummer. No, I never did that large. That would be fun, though. So, you guys, what should, should I do a calendar again this year? I think I'll do one. I was kind of on the fence about it because, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort to make all of the paintings. And, and I do sell a lot of them, but I don't know. I didn't know if I was, it was like something that's oversaturated market of too many calendars. But then I thought, well, it's fun to have that goal of painting enough paintings to put in there. So I think I will. But if, if I do, what do you think I should, should I do birds again? Should I do flowers? Should I, I loved my, um, fruit paintings. I could do vegetables. Jane, I do enjoy painting large. I just don't often have enough time to paint because you have to have a bigger amount of time to paint. And that's why I've gotten so good at doing these little ones because I always, I, there's, I can always carve out like an hour a day to paint, but it's, when it's beyond that, it's hard for me to do. But I do want to get better or more focused on painting large only because it pushes me out of my comfort zone and it's completely different than painting small. First of all, because I can't find these same brushes in such a large size. <clears throat> I could do that. They could be all, be all from my Wednesday collection and just pick 12 of them. I like that, Corinne, because I already have them. Yeah, that's a really fun idea. Mm hmm I would have never thought of that. I like that. Yeah, because I, yeah, I have, I'll ha I would have how many, f like probably about 52 to choose from. Oh my gosh, isn't that crazy to think of? 52. Mary Eileen, what, Ellen, so Mary Eileen and I have a collection of your calendars. It's like having a book of your paintings for inspiration. Oh, that's fun. I like that thought. Make a goal to photograph them all before October. Yeah, that sounds doable. That sounds completely doable, doesn't it? I like that idea. Yeah. And now that I know that I might do that, because I should really, I scan them in. I have a scanner at my office. And I don't scan all of my paintings. Um, but then if I know I might do it from these Wednesday series, I would pay more attention. <clears throat> Very joyful and fun. Funny. Yeah, I love that idea. Yay. I knew you guys would give me good ideas. Thank you, Corinne. I wonder if... It's almost like my colors might be too pink for this, but let's, let's play with it and see where it goes. I think I might need to desaturate them a little bit. Would you consider walking us through a large painting and membership? Yeah, Gail, I sure would. That would help get me on task of actually doing it. That would be a fun one. So in in the membership community, in my membership group, um, I was planning to do just demo, like because I don't want everyone to have to buy the supplies. If you watch me do it and you want to do it, you certainly can, and I can give you all the information. But I'm going to do Pisanki eggs next week. We used to do them with my family every Easter because my husband's family is like um, Russian Orthodox. And it's been a family tradition for years, and, and they're so fun to do. So I wanted to do that. And we have people coming next weekend to do them with us. And we could not find any of our supplies. 
They're like completely missing. I don't know what happened to them. We haven't done this for years, so they're completely gone. So we just had to buy all new supplies. They should all be here in time. So I think what I'm gonna do is, is play around with them and, and show you on Friday and then Saturday I have people coming over and I'll take photos and stuff too. Do you, if you like, visit Be Smart to see my paintings. Okay. Now my painting's really dark, but that's okay. It's easier to pull up the lights, but I feel like I might need to mix some more kind of light. Um, one looks like a little bit like a heart up there. De I may need some more lighter desaturated colors. I think my colors are just a little too pink. Too honestly pink. Yes, that's, I'm sorry, I missed that. Yep, it's Rosemary and Company, Eclipse Short Flat, number 12, my favorite. Thank you, Ellen. Kind of my eyes are kind of dancing around looking at what I'm missing or <clears throat> what's going on here. Okay, a little more blue. <clears throat> my strokes down and leave them. Don't fuss with them. I have to remind myself of that often. <clears throat> yeah, that blue helped a little bit. Sorry, I'm thinking really hard. <laughs> it looks pretty, but it's still... What is it? What is it? What is it? Maybe it needs more darks in here. Whoops. I forgot to close my furnace room door. Do you hear that sound? I was a little late getting ready to paint this morning because it was tricky getting ready with my bum finger. Let me see. It's great to hear and see you work it out. Yes, that is, it's the process of, of like, and I do enjoy letting it go kind of wonky and then finding a way back out of it. Um, but it can get frustrating. You just have to stay confident that it'll turn out. It usually does. that back <laughs> Emily I feel like I have a band-aid on and it feels a little numb but it's getting a little better I think Emily Emily was worried about my finger that's my daughter only I can fall in my own living room and hurt myself that badly it's crazy it's stupid things that I do it's actually comical how long last if you take care of it um, a long, a pretty long Jane. If you take care of it, it lasts a long time. It's hard for me to say because I have so many of them that sometimes I don't know which are my new or old ones or which ones are okay. I'll put like a, a little, little sticky around the bottom of it so I know if it's a fresher one, but they do last a long time. Even when they get a little wonky, I hold on to them and use them for other things. Like if I want to do textures or something. Yes, yeah, so swollen. It, yeah, it hurts. It hurts a lot, but 
I think it'll start getting better now. It's been, this is the third day. All the colors are really fun, aren't they? So I have all those darks they are a little too dark, but I can put color over top and lighten them up a little bit. Yeah, the high, it's hard and it's hard to be patient and not do the highlights till the end, you know? All the patience. I always say that's one of the biggest things that art teaches me is patience because it's not something that comes naturally to me. It's having patience. I want to do everything fast, really, really fast. I walk fast, I eat fast, I work fast. I need to slow down. Digipop. Is that what he calls them? Digipop. It's so fun. Yeah, he did three of them for me. I'll have to post the other ones then. Yeah, I think. But yeah, I don't know which one's my favorite. I enjoy all of I think they're all fun. Digipop. That's cute. I didn't know that's what they were called. I should, I'll say that the next time I post it. I liked your underpainting so much, I thought you would have stopped there. I, I always think those underpaintings part of it all, when it looks like that, look would make such cool like sheets. They look like um, something you would print on sheets or I always love that phase of it too. I like all the phases because they're all kind of charming in their own way. <clears throat> I always say someday I'll stop at that. I'll have that confidence to say, yep, I'm finished when, when it's barely started. And that's all part of how, you know, learning to let your art evolve and change. And I'm always trying to do that, trying new things and I need more white. <clears throat> Lonnie, I think that this guy, um, Steve Martin, did a port did three he actually did three portraits of me in my painting. So he takes uh, artists' artwork and he imposes them inside of their paintings and makes a like an illustrator or Photoshop. It's by Photoshop file. And I just posted one yesterday in my story that he had sent me. And it's me with one of my pencils. And it looks like the pencil is like twice as tall as me and I'm painting it. <clears throat> it's very fun. Wait, I need a little more white. Used a lot of white in here. It's, it's getting there, right? That blue made a big difference. When I first mixed those colors, I didn't have any blues in it. <clears throat> What are you doing, Allie? What'd you have to do? Still got the sound on my desktop. Oh, did you figure it? Could you not hear? What were you saying? I missed something. All right, that's nice. <clears throat> After, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> I 
<coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> All right, this is this nice little highlight right there. It got a little big. This is very light right here. Oh, and there's a tiny little highlight right in here. Whoops. <clears throat> enough. I kept saying having trouble loading video. Try again later. Oh, okay. Yeah, was that from my end? <clears throat> oh, good, Jane. So do I. I was tired again this week, and I thought, well, I could take this week off just to take a pause. And I thought, no, I enjoy this part of my week. I'm not, I don't need to take this off. Things I need to take off are like laundry and dishes and things like that, not painting. Lights and darks carved out. Yes, I like to think of it that way, of carving it out. Carving it out of, like, the background. <clears throat> and now I'm sitting back and I'm looking at it. <coughs> I really like how the background looks soft. <clears throat> I feel like putting out oils and doing a flower. Oh, good, Carol. I hope you do. You mean outside you're going to do the plein air? You're going to do... Um, flowers. No, I didn't do these fun little. There's a really light one here. What kind of paper? <clears throat> I'm using, it's called Arches Oil Paper. It's my favorite um, substrate right now. I love using it. Um, I like the texture. It almost feels a little watercolory, and I love watercolors, but I love the creaminess of oil paint, so it's kind of a really fun balance of the two, I think, because <clears throat> it gives that texture. Welcome. Oh, this is a little to 48. I'm ahead of schedule. Good. Love when that happens. That's a little darker and desaturated back here. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, a little better. <clears throat> um, Heather, they take a while. I like to give them a few weeks to dry before I'll ship them to anyone because I worry about them even in the summer more than any other time. I worry about them like something happening to them and they, it never has but yeah I like to let them dry for um, several weeks like a month at least a month. more for my own comfort than anything. I'll do a couple of these fun little kind of sexy pieces of color. I ran out of paper towels. <clears throat> I use acrylics. So I've always wondered. Oh, good. <clears throat> yes, acrylic. It's so different. Oh, you want me to do the white tape? Okay. Yep, I think I need to stop, right? Except I keep seeing little things. I think this, that's better. That really needs to pop right in there. Um, yep, I'll do the white, I'll sign it and do the white tape. Can't quite get that to suit me right in here. Um, Okay. 
painter's tape from the hardware store. Yeah, and I, I this is just called artist tape. I get it from um, Jerry's Artorama. Whoops, sorry. I'm going to sign it here. And I'll pull the tape off. Is that wash? No, it's not washi tape. I found doesn't stick enough. This is called artist tape. Here's the inside of it. Um, just says www.itape.com. Facebook.com. Intertape. I-N-T-E-R-T-A-P-E. -E. But I just get it. It's called artist tape on the Jerry's website. <clears throat> Move this out of the way. No, wait. I think that... Let me... Not get another brush dirty at this point. No wait. There. Something was wonky in there. I think the blue was too much. Okay, now I'll pull the tape off. The tape reveal is so fun. Pull that down. This definitely could be one of the ones in the calendar, right? So there it is. How fun is that? And there's my reference. And my palette. I didn't use much of this color I mixed. It really was kind of too bright for what I was doing. I used more of this where I ended up mixing blues into it. I didn't use much of my green either. Maybe I need to do another one real quick. Nah, I gotta get to work. So thanks for coming and hanging out with me, guys. It was great to see you, as always. <clears throat> and with the free, yeah, I love that freeform edge. <clears throat> oh, I have to show you. So I, I'm gonna add to my, I have my, um, framing guide, my surface and framing guide, and I'm going to add framing options for do, for how to frame the, um, these um, works on paper because I love them. So thanks for coming, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.